My name is Marnie and from here on out, I'm going to be your very own personal wing girl. I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about how to attract, date, seduce, get, and keep the women you want if you so choose to do so. I'm about to get really heavy with you and after I get heavy with you, I'm going to give you an assignment to do. Yes, an assignment. Well, it's more of an exercise, but I promise you, you are going to love, love, love me for it after. So here's the heavy logical theory part. When it comes to men, attractiveness from a female point of view is based a lot more on their behaviors and intangible qualities than it is on physical looks and financial success. Put that middle finger away and do not write that nasty comment you are about to type because it's true and I'm about to tell you why. While these things do contribute to perceived attractiveness, the other finer qualities have a much greater effect on women and better trigger their primal attraction circuits. There are three primary things that women are attracted to. A man with good character, a man who has strength, and a man with good value. These things are conveyed by certain indicators, which I'll explain shortly, and these indicators are what women use to determine if a man has character, strength, and value. Some of these indicators women are aware of and look for on a conscious level, and some, actually most, of these indicators women are not aware of and look for on a subconscious level. Get it? Character, strength, and value are what women look for consciously and unconsciously, but they are not the indicators of these traits. The actual behaviors that women look for that demonstrate character, strength, and value are as follows. For character, the indicators are when a man is unshakable, grounded, assertive, not aggressive, a good listener, calm, comfortable in his body. For strength, the indicators are when a man can own and make decisions, has a point of view, takes action, is direct, and can ask for what he wants without demanding it, is confident and is a leader in his own right and can be vulnerable. For value, the indicators are when a man can enjoy life, be exciting and positive, has a sense of humor, can laugh at himself without being a clown, has his own independent life, and is overall happy and content. When a woman is around a man who exhibits a balance of these traits, she's able to relax, let her guard down, and fall into her feminine role. It's only when a woman is in this feminine state that she's able to relax and begin to think about sexuality. You can gain all of these traits and most likely you already have them within you. You just need to know how to activate them and express them to women in a manner they can understand and respond to both consciously and unconsciously, which leads me to the exercise I was telling you about that it's going to change your life. And this exercise will help you easily activate and showcase these traits so that women can quickly pick up on them. It will help you by getting you out of your head and into a calm and confident state so that you can be yourself and showcase the awesome things about you versus the nervous, anxious, fumbling side. I call this exercise owning your animal, a quick and easy way to get confident. A while back, I met an amazing woman named Erica who informed me of a quick tool she provides women on how to quickly find confidence in every situation. It's a tool she developed while working in the music industry. And Erica used to work in brand development with a whole bunch of different artists, like really famous people, which meant that she helped shape the type of persona an artist would take on to reflect their brand. To help her artists, she would ask them, how do you want people to see you as an artist and who do you see yourself being? And they would give tons of answers like, okay, I'm the army type, I'm the blonde bombshell, I'm the grunge rocker, and Erica would help them clearly define this persona to establish a useful brand that the artist could clearly visualize in a moment's notice. Now, Erica uses this tool to help Normal women establish their own brand so that in a moment's notice they can say, I'm the confident type and quickly own that. But instead of the army type or the rocker type, she makes everyone select an animal as she found that animals are really easy to visualize and emulate. And I thought it was genius. So I decided to borrow Erica's tool and share it with you. So here is how Erica's tool works. She selects an animal for each person and attaches five attributes to each animal. Once the person can visualize the animal and its attributes, they can quickly embody the attributes of an animal. So before going out in public or in a moment of doubt, a person can picture their animal persona and quickly take on its persona, put it into their body. I'm guessing that right now there are moments where you see an attractive girl and you wanna to talk to her or ask her out or kiss her or whatever, but you freeze up. You can't talk, you can't move, and you cannot be yourself and you hate yourself for it. That moment is when you use this exercise. It's for those moments when your head gets all foggy and you can't put a sentence together. So here's what I want you to do. 
This is how to get that animal into your body. The first thing that I want you to do is take five minutes and select the animal that you want to choose. And it's an animal that you think has strength and prowess and are leaders. So mine is a jaguar. Next, I want you to write down the animal on a piece of paper as well as five key attributes of the animal you want to embody. For example, I said that jaguars are precise and strong. So see, as I'm saying it right now, it's going into my body. I can visualize precise, strength, the jaguar, and already my body's responding. Then I want you to take one minute to embody the attributes and answer each of these questions. How would this animal stand? How would this animal talk? How would this animal hold eye contact? How would this animal talk to women? And how would this animal go after what he wants? Then practice doing these things in front of the mirror. The body language that you will see in front of you is the body language of a confident man who goes after what he wants. And the next time you have a moment of lack of confidence, doubt, insecurity, I want you to picture this animal and all of its attributes and the power of that animal will quickly enter your body and bring you back to confidence. Try it. Not only does it work, it literally changes how others see you in a matter of seconds. One note to add, if an animal selection doesn't resonate with you, pick something else. A character from TV, a friend who was super successful with women, whatever. But make sure you go through the list of questions so that you know how they would do things and can quickly put their brand into your body. For more tips on how to get unshakable confidence, go to winggirlmethod.com and sign up for my free newsletters and start watching and learning. My name is Marnie, your personal wing girl and the last female friend you're ever going to need. See you soon.